Welcome, welcome, welcome. You got the intro? You got the intro today? You want me to do that? I, I don't want to do the intro. You got it. Got this it. is the Just Kicking It podcast. Let's go! Woo! I know that you <laughs> fuck niggas. The fuck with us. You say that you love yes. bitches. But what bitches? Uh-huh. Where they at? You you can run Hope y'all feeling good today. Get us. But one thing I was told. What? I know you fucking hate. I know you fucking hate. You could've been the bum with the guns in your head in the back of the whip on some shit, man. In fact, when you say to my lungs, is there with the back of the yak of some shit, man. Say some shit about me. Please excuse my dear and sadly. I ain't got no semi circles round me. Adding up the bodies in my county. I've been swimming, everybody's drowning. Over those 10 lap coming to the bottom of those big bottles of that jack in the barrio. I think I went overboard since Sario. Fuck your bitch, pay me more money. Oh. I know that you yes. love bitches. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, so you were pimping? You said that you pimping that bitches. Well, what bitches? I don't, I don't think they're ready yet. I don't think they're ready yet. One more time. Well, one, one thing I was told. I know you fucking hate. I know you fucking hate. I know you fucking hate. I know. I know. I know. I know, I know. I know you fucking hate. That shit goes still. Do you, guys, song. do you guys know people that hate you? I don't. I go look at my blocks on Instagram. <laughs> so they hate you or you hate them? I think the people who hate me <laughs> I the people, secretly I the love that me. I be blocked, but yeah. I don't think I'm... I, I don't know anybody who's told me that they hate me. But if the, if it was, like, it was probably a girl, but I know she really loved me, though. <laughs> as I say, all, all the people that block me are women as well. Yeah, so... Can you block somebody... After they block you, or it's just yeah, you can. So you could double block. Like they already blocked you, we could block them. Of course. What's the point? So if they unblock you, they try to send you a message, then they they're, can't. They're like, damn, he blocked. Me yeah, too. he did. He did. He did me dirty too. Damn. All right, we on the same page. Breakfast. 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 I thought it was gonna be the wait, 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 wait yo, punk ass up. Breakfast. <laughs> yo, the skits on the albums go there. They were really good. Yeah, we're skit guys. But anyway, so, intro us in. Yeah, man. where are we? What is this? Are you in Sean? No, you got it. Welcome back to the Just Kicking It podcast. This is 19. I am your very handsome host. Why <laughs> oh, you look over here? I was no, gonna say no arguments here. Fella. We're all hosts. Yeah, we're all hosting. Um, Ralph, trying to make the switch from, you know, it gets confusing when people call me Sousa or Tyler and Ralph. I feel like it's got to just be Ralph. At least for a little bit. If you right. knew me when I was Susie, you could call me Susie still, but I, I got to refer to myself Ralph. as Ralph. All right, I'll call, you're saved I'll in my you phone as Susie, and that will not and change. You're F in mine. Well, yeah, but that's because you were there when someone called me F. So just, uh... <laughs> Shout out Red Freck. And I'm accompanied by two of my very good friends. Closest hey. to me here on the couch joining me is Recognize Truth, a.k.a. Chris Tyrell, a.k.a. Chris. <laughs> So you're a very handsome you, man. You can call me C Truth. No one's coming. Or Truth. I was going to say C Truth. I like but when I people call me Truth. I think I still like that. I de- Speaking yeah, of what you people so are saying, this is my phone, your truth in my phone. It feels so good. Yeah. I don't, then, I don't lie, nigga. Oh, well, let me get to Brandon. And then in the. I like that. In the sweater that I like, I like we it. have. It's Gat. Brandon F. B. Fabs. It's How you Gap doing today, Christmas pal? Christmas edition. Is it yeah, Easy Gap edition? This is way before Easy, bro. <laughs> How you guys doing today, all right? Dude. I'm doing wonderful. It's been good. The weather's been nice. No, not today. Well, besides it was, today. It was, it was nice it today. Was it was cold windy. cold as fuck, I thought. At nighttime. I feel like it was it was a little cold, but it was still better than like actual winter. Winter weather. But this like, week, I mean, mostly the weather was pretty good. Well, yeah. the last two days. Well, yesterday was beautiful. Yesterday, yo, I literally left work yesterday, like left the gym. Felt like I was ready. I had to call Jeremy. I was like, yo, I'm ready to, like, but I'm ready to act up. I don't think he's like, what are you gonna do? It's like, I don't know. I'm gonna go hang out in a parking lot or something. That's, that's what. That's so how I was, in a parking lot or that's something. That's how you were that's feeling. How I was feeling. He was rowdy. He was ready. <laughs> that's how I was feeling. I didn't know what to do. I felt so good. Yeah. Oh, See, yeah, because you texted me too. Yeah, 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 and I just went on a road trip. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that walk from the car to the gym after work today, miserable. I was ready to, I wanted to die. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to run because I didn't want to look like I was like hurting that bad, but it was, it was rough. Oh, I, I think the whole day. weekend's supposed to be a little rough. 
weather wise. Yeah, yeah, we're not there quite yet. It's like it was a little bit of a tease, but yeah, it's a tease. At least we know we're almost there, right? Another month we should be in the clear. Spring is coming. But the spring is coming. But I'm doing well too. Thanks for asking. Yeah, you're you're, you're okay. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Did you we right? ask? You didn't. No, we didn't. <laughs> it's all right. You were gonna. We were going to. <laughs> yeah, I probably wasn't. But no, yeah, I'm good, man. Had a good little week. Got some you know, you Chris asked if we were proud of anything we've done during the week to yeah. lead off with and uh free pod. I'm proud of the work week I've had. Mm. You know, I did some things, got some uh um mental hurdles out of the way. If that makes sense. Especially with my album that I'm working on, because I'm ready to finally ready to call it an album. Hey. I was telling Brandon yesterday, it's looking the weather on May 6th might be a little droppy outside, but we'll see. <laughs> a little droppy yeah. outside. <laughs> the day after the birthday? Yeah. A little droppy night. outside. You put in the pressure on now. You might yeah, have no, to. I'm committing to it. I have to commit to it. I have to. Yeah, it's going to be all over I mean, that's still anything. like. It's, it's like still, two months old. Yeah, I was about yeah, to say. That's, so. But that's still. It's so, yeah. So, but what about you guys? You guys doing it? You proud of anything you did this Am week? Am I proud of anything? The most thing I'm proud of myself this week is. Uh, staying myself in the in a miss adversity mm. my, my job was like really really crazy this week we had like on monday i wasn't there but a dude overdose like, i work at a rehab I, I don't know if you got i mean i tell you guys all the time but um some dude snuck in drugs two guys od'd and it's like a visitor no these are guys who came in they they, they got it smuggled in somehow um yeah, so no had a drop that. off or something uh -huh. we don't we, we don't really know we're trying do, to figure you out you guys have visitors though uh, no Really? No visitors. They used to have that before COVID. No visitors? No. You can make phone calls. That's worse than jail. What Even they get visitors. Yeah, but they have a screen that blocks them. Get a screen. Would you, we don't have a big facility like that. No visitors? No Wor visitors. You can worse zoom. Worse than jail is crazy. I'd rather do you drugs can, you can than face fucking up. have no visitors. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going But yeah, but a miss. Give me the pipe. <laughs> he said, give me the pipe. The government will not stop <laughs> Uh, nah, maybe the ones in Florida might do that shit, but our shit is kind of broke. Holy shit, yo, Ralph, you, stop taking away my good side. Huh? <laughs> we work at like a broke ass facility, so like we do what we can. So I'm no visitors at jokes. the time. I know, but um, nah, like and miss all this shit that was happening. Like it was a like, really, really crazy week. People tried me. People tried, um, like the people that I work with and all that shit. And we and I stood strong. I can speak for myself. Like I stood strong and I stayed myself. And niggas tried to test me. And I didn't go to where they wanted me to go. You know what I'm saying? Like I. I kept it cool. I just told them to go fuck themselves in a nice way, though. Damn. <laughs> That's good, because I can name a time that I won't name specifically that you did not control yourself at work once that you told me about. Oh, there's been times. Yeah, I'm not going to say specifically. But Is it the one with the, the client that I know? It was a little... Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, I've done that. <laughs> yeah. It's talking about my mom, nigga. Don't do that shit. <laughs> talking about my mom, nigga. Yes. Yeah, my work week was lit. I ain't gonna hold Your work you. week was crazy? Nah. I ain't gonna lie. I'm <laughs> sad as hell. Ain't no <laughs> way. I did so many interviews last week. I ain't getting no one phone call back. Damn, you were too oh. honest. I'll give it a week and then call them. Well, the one job said. Hey, call them the callback. Well, the one job said it could take up to two weeks because they have a lot of people to interview. So I'm gonna wait next, till next week and then I'll probably call them back. But it's looking real oppy outside. Oh my God. <laughs> Droppy and now oppy. Yo, but I do have an actual story. I'm not Wait, proud on. of shit. Hey, oh, you're not proud of shit? Oh, I'm not proud of shit this week. Damn, nigga. To be honest. Nothing. Yeah, nah, I ain't proud of shit. Damn. Um, but I do have a funny story. Well, it's not really funny, but so Damn. this morning, it was windy as fuck out. Right? Super. And it rained crazy. And I ain't night. tell y'all because. I think it, I don't know when it, he actually bought it this week. I, my dad, like it, my so my dad growing up in Brooklyn, right? Like a thing in Brooklyn back in the day. I don't know if it's still a thing. Like motherfuckers had pigeon coops, like on top of their apartments and shit. Like oh yeah, I've seen coops. that in movies and shit. Yeah, yeah. So my dad bought pigeons, like these like rare pigeons for Your our backyard. Dad. Yeah, he loves. He had them as a kid and shit. So he like had them in our backyard. So he had this little pigeon coop set set up and shit. The wind was so crazy, bro, that it knocked. Like, he had a padlock and everything on the door, so, like, it couldn't move. The wind was so crazy this morning, bro. It, the door fucking smashed open. No, I mean, we didn't know, obviously. Right, we didn't right. See it. But when he got home from work, so I don't go back like, deep in my backyard and look at them. Oh, it was pins. back in, like, the other yeah, back part? Yeah, in, like, the back. The deeper like, part. Where his uh, and shed shit, and shit, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's right next to the shed. Right. It's like a little coop. So he goes back to today. The door is fucking smashed open, and all the pigeons flew the fuck away. Damn. 
Damn. The wind blew it open. They all flew These away. rare pigeons. Yeah, he said they was pricey, too. Damn, sorry, That's, was, that's a lot he of was, messages to get it. He was sad as shit. <laughs> He was sad as shit. Yeah, no, I'd be I sad be. too. Yeah, that's sad. He called up the dude he got from. He's like, I need fucking more of them pigeons. <laughs> and they don't come back? I thought pigeons supposed to come back. Like, oh, we plum. just had them for like four days. Oh, yeah. Like, so it's new. He just got them. They yes. weren't even getting used to this shit. Where's the, where's the pigeon plug in like New York somewhere? Yeah, New York. Well, he works in the Manhattan. The pigeon plug. Yeah. yeah, pigeons in New York are like a thing. Yeah, they're. Like, but I don't know what you get out of it personally, but like, he likes them. And I don't know. It's a, I guess it's just a thing, but. <laughs> But yeah, do you think do you think they surviving out there? I'm kind of sad about. They're flying them. back to New York. Don't yeah, they're it. birds, nigga. They got it. No, do this shit. They came from the hardest city. All I know the is world. they probably landed. You can make it there. You can make, make it, it anywhere. anywhere. They probably landing on a sidewalk near you. No, nah, they right out, here. <laughs> no, in New York, the pigeons uh, just be on the sidewalk, just like chilling. Oh yeah, yeah. But yeah, that was the most exciting part of my week. I feel like besides my road trip. Well, that's sad. That's not really exciting. But... Where was your road trip to? Literally, no. I was just driving, type shit. Like, was like, it- I went to a couple stores. Okay, but like nothing in particular. I was literally just driving, listening to music. I told Tyler I listened to Surface like all the way through. Was it like, ever I, one of those like? Th- was it like that drive where you're just aimlessly driving? Like, or you knew where you were kind of? I driving? had no clue where I was going. That's always like it makes me anxious to do that. I've tried that one time for like ten minutes, and I was like, oh, I can't do this. No, hell no. I, just, <laughs> I, I just, had like a designated. I used to have like a designated route that I would drive. I can do that. I just smoked. It was nice out. I was smoking cigarettes, listening to music. I was That's driving. Cool. And I, anything I saw that seemed intri- intriguing to me, I just stopped on I like that. <laughs> yeah. I like that for you. Took some photos for the gram. You know the vibe. Yeah, I see them. They were nice. You yeah. said the same thing about Surface that you said recently, too, though. What'd I say? Like, all the way you listened through, it's like a... It was Cohesive. a nice... Cruising, like, in the car and shit. Yeah. It was a nice... sunset like, the sun, like, beaming, like, it's... It's good for that for sure. Yeah, I know. I was, then I was joking with uh, I was I always said that my debut album would be my next project. It's like, who am I kidding? Surface was my debut album. I think so. Yeah, it was. So. I think it was. I mean, it's very, I mean, it's very like eight po- songs. To me, but, eight songs isn't an album, but I think so. It feels like it is when it's consistent and it's cohesive, and you found your lane, you found your stride. I feel like you hit that shit. Yeah, and what's the song with both y'all on? Something summer, summer's post end. Summer. It's my least no, not favorite. Post summer. I mean, uh, summer's end. Summer's yeah. end. That's my least favorite. Chris really, Ma- I actually Chris enjoyed the club. I Chris enjoyed Club. I enjoyed it though at the time. I don't, I don't know like if it. I was super high or what. I don't know what the fuck I even said on that song. I enjoyed the vibe of it though. That's Let's what that's down. the low of the album for me, that song. But other than that, um, should we talk about Super Bowl halftime? Yeah, I guess we lead off with the Super Bowl. We were pretty I was looking at we were we were kind. I was kind we were kinda all right with some of the songs. I was surprised Kendrick didn't do humble. Kendrick had like not a lot. Well, like, I think right. there were so many artists that it was just short. Bursts. And they had the OGs, and it was Dre too. Yeah, you know what I mean. So it was Dre's main stage. He looked so good, Dre. Yeah, he sounded. I love good when he played too. the keys for like point five yeah. seconds. Yeah. Five. I wonder if that board that they had up there was actually doing it. Real? Yeah, I was wondering that too. I, was I watched that it. Twice. It might have actually been for the instruments that were right there around him, like the drum kit and the piano, and like because because when he went to the piano, one of the other dudes that was playing the other, I think he was playing the piano, got up, he went over and turned it up so that you could hear Dre playing the piano, and I thought I was like, oh wow, it looks like it might actually be doing something. I know Anderson. Crazy. Pat, well, dude, once I saw Anderson, yeah, Anderson Pat on the there, drums, yeah. bro, for lose yourself. Yeah, that shit was crazy, that was bro. I was, I was so excited. His face. Was I loved crazy. every minute of it. Fucking Snoop, you know, sea walking. Yeah, and yeah, I loved it. Dre was rapping Bro, his I, ass I'm off. I'm just so happy crazy. I stayed off Twitter that day because apparently, like, the 50 Cent appearance was leaked on Twitter. Oh, like, really? I had him, no idea. Him rehearsing, like, was, like, leaked. Mm. I didn't know. I didn't know. So that when either. he came on upside down, I was like, I was like oh, like, yeah. yeah. We were all there, like, what? But like, I was hyped because yeah. 50's, my, 50's yeah. my guy. Like, that's yeah. my guy. Everybody was clown. Everyone was clowning him for his like they were saying yeah, he gained Don't. weight. He's, like, oh, yeah. he's, he's a dollar. He's now. a dollar. <laughs> but 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 then I, I think he killed that shit. I'm yeah, he did. One hundred percent. And then even the video, like there was a video of him getting up there right before his cue, and he got up there like in half of y'all doing what he no. did. He just pulled his stuff right upside think, down. Like I honestly, think, I mean, he definitely gained weight, but I think he's still muscly. Yeah, he's no, muscly. he is. He's, not, he's just not cut up the way he used to be. Yeah. Bro, he's not. He's fat. still a big dude. But I was so, that was my favorite moment because I love Fifty and I was didn't know he was there. I knew everyone else was gonna be there. I didn't know he was gonna be there. Yeah, I, I didn't know that either. Stupid my idiot. favorite, my favorite part was uh, Kendrick. To okay, be honest, yeah. Kendrick well, out the box, too, out bro. the box. Just yo, he just. Uh, I loved how Kendrick, like the past few. Years like when I've seen him pop up randomly 
for performances. Yeah. He's been adding so much choreography to yes. performances. Even in yes. the videos. Yeah. Even like the yes. Baby Keen yep. videos. Yeah. Yeah. Like choreography has become like a big thing in his performances and he kills it. And it's stellar sure. and it matches the vibe. It provides the energy that you need. Like, Dude, dude is dude is amazing. I, love I can't it. wait uh, for his new. Dre did one little choreographed move. Did you see that? In no, the I didn't. I didn't he see did it. one. It was the one thing. It's right when he moved in. There, were, there was like this one part where the dancers are kind of emerged, and he like came into it like, ah, and then I, was, I didn't see. And then that. I, was, I, I was like, I, I was like, oh shit! <laughs> I didn't see him do that. But um, the funny thing, dude. Well, first of all, I wonder how did you guys feel about the censoring, the censorship of what the words of all about the, the entire songs. I mean, it's a publication yeah, across the world. I be. thought it was fine. Yeah, I yeah. didn't. The thing that I thought me. was the funniest was in All Right. He says, and we hate Popo. Po. That's the actual line. Yeah. yeah. And he said, and we hate, and there was like a drum thing that went. That was it. It was just like, and we hate Pope. And it was, it was like, and we hate. I thought he said Popo. Po, he did. No, no he didn't. it was a drum noise. They went. Oh, but really? Dre did say, still not loving yeah, the still police. Still not loving police. Yeah. I mean, that's the nicest way you could ever say. Yeah, but he it, still but said, he still got it off, though. I just think it's so stupid the next day, like I'm on Twitter and I like always see like the, the stupid like newspaper articles, but it's like obviously internet uh, fucking the biggest article about the halftime form is Snoop Dogg smoke, caught smoking weed before yeah, the like halftime show. What the fuck you this nigga doing? Shit, yeah. it's Snoop Dogg. <laughs> he admitted fuck? to smoking weed in the White House bathroom. You know that he's smoking in his city? <laughs> That's it, bro. Everybody was like, oh my his God, state, I can't I mean, believe it. No, like jokingly, they were like, I yeah. like. I can't believe it. Snoop Dogg smoked weed before he went on that. But like people were trying to put like it's fucking all, it's legal in California. Like yeah. what are y'all in? I don't think anybody actually cares. But he was on the side of the stage. Like yeah. he's like, I love Snoop so much. Yeah, Snoop's bro. the man. He's like Mary J. Blige did killed it too. I yeah, she, she was looking great. Pretty, yeah, I was about to say she looked good. Yeah, for she like fifty. Yeah, she's dropped the album too. But one last thing about Snoop that I love. He's the one of the only motherfuckers that could throw up gang signs, crip walk. And, and, get and me, still me, get like target commercials and shit. I yeah. love it. Dude, yeah, there was a lot of uh dude Crip the Crips were winning on Sunday, bro. Oh, he was <laughs> C E walking. They were on that winning. Bitch. I was surprised fucking what's his name ain't come out and start Crip walking. What's fucking homie? I'm in love with the Coco. Oh, OG OT, OT, OT Genesis. Genesis. Yeah, because yeah. you know he always be he the video. walks crazy. He was definitely there somewhere, probably Crip probably. walking. Probably. There was Jay-Z so was many there. celebrities there. Good game, too, honestly. What it, what uh what song did oh um, yeah congrats to the Rams no Jay Z wrote one of the Snoop oh, still Dre I had no idea that's crazy I didn't know you guys that didn't at all know that? he wrote every word that. to that yeah. song yeah. that's that, known because then I saw, I didn't know that they but talked then, about that on Joe Budden podcast a while ago too that's, yeah that's cause then, that's dope because then I saw the video yeah. that you're probably talking about where yeah. it was Dr Dre ta- and Snoop talking about yeah. it and they were like he wrote he knew right where Snoop was should have came in and that's and he was crazy like, he's like and what were we gonna do he wrote us a hit record yeah he wrote us <laughs> <it> was, <laughs> we, we didn't change we didn't change the thing yeah. That's yeah. so funny because I thought Jay because like I, I from like what you, you hear about Jay, he, I didn't think he d- did much writing. It sounded like he worked it out in the booth. We would never know, and that's like the thing about like the industry is that like they like to keep certain yeah. things under under closed doors. You know what I mean? But that's definitely a way of income. Mm-hmm. And just get your name there. out there. Yeah, Jay was Fucking, there. Didn't the thing I hate about up? the Super Bowl is normal fans of the teams can't really go. Yeah, no, it's just, it's, it's a, all celebrities. All I mean, it's just people. like the NBA All Star Game. I know, but in the finals, but there's like, got to be a way. Like they should have separate tickets somewhere in like a bleacher fucking spot where fans, normal people, could yeah, go. It, bro. It, Who's it, affording yeah, that? Because not like no one. Chances are, I mean, I mean, people go to a Super Bowl in our lifetime. You know I'm what I mean? Trying, like, like it would be great. Like, but, a Super Bowl and NBA All Star Weekend are like two things yeah, I really want to fucking too, go on. But but congrats to the Rams. I was happy as hell when Odell scored. Yeah, yeah. Me sad too. as fuck when he tore his ACL. Me too. Yeah, it was yeah, so soon. It was like right emotions. And he's about to be a free agent. That sucks, man. He was he was balling. This was going to be the last big big contract he got. He's turning thirty. I don't think he's. Oh, getting, is he really? Yeah. I don't think he's getting a big contract. It, it was going to be. No, I don't know about now. now. That's what I'm saying. He is. Sad. I hope the Rams do the right thing. What did he tear the ACL? Yeah, mm-hmm. same one he he's tore been, a couple years he's ago. He's just been. Yeah. But ACLs prone. break like that. But he's often. been injury prone. Injury prone. Yeah. They tear. But yeah, he, he's been injury prone his whole fucking career. Even even when we drafted him, he missed the first like few games for the Giants. Mm-hmm. But yeah, congrass to Rams. Was happy. Matt Stafford got a ring. Yeah. A lot was, of guys on that team got the ring, and I was other things about the game. I was mad as shit. Twitter was slandering Jalen uh, fucking Ramsey for allowing a touchdown. Motherfucker got face masked and thrown to the oh, ground yeah. with no penalty. That was ridiculous. Called. Fucking best cornerback in the league, still, in my opinion. Shout out Jalen Ramsey. I got to <laughs> I, I tell you about a tweet that I read after. I sent it to the chat, but nobody answered. Um, oh, but, the Twitter chat? I yeah. probably read it about him. But, um,. Would you see? Did you see the video of of uh, the chick falling off the stage in front of Matt Stafford? 
Oh my god! Yeah, on on the the parade. Yeah. So there was, bro. I I have like Stafford a, was lit. Yeah, like I, I don't understand. Everybody's making such a big deal. So basically, I'll have to show you the video. But um, it was a photographer, and it was like an eight foot stage platform that these people are that they were all on, like giving their like speech or whatever, so the crowd could see them. And it's a it's a shot of some photographer standing in front of Matt Matt Stafford and his and his wife, and she she takes a step back and just completely disappears. Yeah, and, and Stafford, and Stafford's like he was looking at her. And he just turns around. He, 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 he goes, but then turns, his around, wife, turns around, drinks his water bottle, walks away, and his wife like stops, yeah. like look, looks down at yeah, her. Who and the shit. fuck helped her? No one helped her. The wife looked like she was no. About well, there to. was people that she literally landed like on people and shit. Like, oh no, but the, just the little short clip that was viral it looked bad. On it looked bad. Part. But at the end of the day, the dude is fucking absolutely wasted. Yeah. yeah. And like it's not his job. Did you see Tom Brady's quote tweet? Yeah, he was like, he was like, he's like, yo, take it from me. Drink some water. Mix in a little water. Mix in water, yeah. Because Tom Tom Brady Brady was tweeting. Yeah, he was lit last year. But he was lit at his Super Bowl last year, and he literally like in the parade there was like two separate like pretty long distance like I don't know what you call them, but in the parade there was two separate boats, whatever the fuck they were. But he threw the fucking Super Bowl trophy. Yeah, they were in Last boats. Year, that's how lit he was. And yeah, someone, he, he threw Gronk, it I think, caught it or something. That could hurt Cameron somebody. Drake caught it. Shot but he was Drake. like a sloppy mess in the parade. Yeah. So that's why he said that. It was funny. And those guys probably never really drink that. Tom Brady. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Like Brady definitely doesn't drink. He was drinking yeah. avocado tequila. Bro, he's a hilarious human being. Yeah, he's going to be great man. post. But I didn't think the Stafford hate was fair. But in case it was, in case... You guys couldn't accept the fact because I know Twitter was hating Howard on him. He's covering the, the, the lady's hospital bills. Oh, so she did get hurt? She, oh, she fractured her, sp- her spine. Oh, my God. Yeah. Two Who, broke, who's broke the staff is covering it? Yeah. Yeah. He said he's going to cover all her hospital bills. She felt like that. It had absolutely nothing yeah. to do with him, though. Like, I don't understand. Like, like yeah, that's, that's it, super nice. It's just not the saying, reaction yeah. and how it looks. Yeah, I it's guess. The optic. But optics I mean, yeah, everything. Exa- yeah. Perspective, right. It's everything. How it, how it looked in that moment, how he reacted. Like, oh, shit. You know, he, said, oh. he was there like, I feel like oh, we I'm all too, been there. He's like, like oh, I'm too drunk to deal with that right yeah, now. Yeah, I can't. Like, what am I supposed to do? We've exactly. all been there. Though. And they caught him doing that. Yeah. If they didn't catch him, he probably wouldn't have done that yeah, shit. Right. But Stafford yeah. deserves a ring, man. Shout out, Matt Stafford, man. Leaves the Lions one year later. Ring. Love it. That's, that's lit. That's yeah. lit. And his, his Sorry, wife's Detroit, story. Man. I like the Super Bowl because they give. I don't watch sports, so when I yeah. watch Super Bowl, are these but final games? The Super Bowl. Right. right. They give you this background story and like. What For people it? like you, right? Exactly. Like, oh, yeah. this person's this. His wife had brain and the, cancer. The and funny his family part, from Detroit. And- the funny part about background stories because they usually repeat them pretty often yeah. on nationally televised games. So people like us that watch sports all the time are, are sick like, of it. By like, oh my yeah. god, it's like a we meme. No. It's like a meme to people like us. They'll say like the same guy. He used to play basketball. And- oh, <laughs> fucking Antonio Gates. Yeah, <laughs> they say it every time. If Antonio you know, Gates he was a basketball play. player. <laughs> and like, people like us are like, bro, we you don't fuck it. You say this every game, we know. But for people like you that watch it for the first time, it's like, oh, it shit. gives you, it, yeah. And so it works. It's so they just, need to do that shit yeah, for context. It's, it's funny. It's funny though. Because if they really were to assume funny. that everybody watches all the time, like Super Bowl is one of the most watched yeah. things on television or any final game, you know. So, yeah. but yeah, I enjoyed the Super Bowl. I didn't watch the second half because I watched Euphoria. Shout the second Euphoria. half was really. It was kind of a. It wasn't as good as the first half. The second half. You really watched Euphoria? Yeah, I watched it later. You can't. You know, it's available for a whole. I don't, I don't watch any of Euphoria yet. I gotta watch it. Yo, I don't watch this sports. This episode was lit. It was, it lit. was fire. It was lit. It was. It was the it. craziest shit I've ever seen. Not crazy. This show is just wild. Euphoria is lit. Shout yeah. out to Euphoria, bro. All right, I have a lot to say about Kanye. So, oh, let's yeah, go. Too. We're twenty. We're Kanye 23 literally minutes every week. This motherfucker is going to be a topic at this point. Well, at least are, until that. So, do you guys have hate or love? Hate or love? I have indifference. Both. Uh, yeah, but I love and I. Lo- I don't hate Kanye. But but the I only reason Kanye. I ask is because because I actually have some love to give. Not really about like kind of about the STEM thing. So you want me to go okay, first yeah, with that? Yeah, go, go ahead. Go get up. All right. So for the longest time, and maybe not for the longest time, but like three the last three years. Me and like, like Dokes and, and like you know even like you guys we have this we've had this conversation about how w- the the goal I think for musicians is to eventually take your your audience off of streaming platforms and put them on your own streaming either website or app or whatever it is right right but it's hard to do unless you're one of very few people because your audience isn't going to follow you off and download an app just for you. Right. Yeah. Kanye is one of those He's people. He's one of those few yeah, people. Yeah. Kanye is one of those people, and to see him do this is really honestly super inspiring to, to me personally, um, 
to like I just think that saying fuck you to the streaming services because at the end of the day the reason that artists get paid cents to cents to the cents if that makes sense like like percentages of cents for their stream, own music like to their own for their, shit. for your own music is because the, the streaming services know you need them yeah they know if you well, want to get heard you the platform yeah, yeah. they know if you want to get heard you have to be on our platform and we can get away with absolutely just stealing from you because you need us so for kanye and i don't know if it'll be a success but to see someone and i know even like i don't know if you guys remember this but lil wayne had a dedication i, th- I can't remember which dedication it was it was an that app piff, wasn't it, it was it that was piff? a specific app i thought you put on that for piff. dedication i want to say either five or six and you couldn't hear it unless you had the app. So to me, that was like really the beginning of of this type of idea where, um, and that was when he was still trying to figure out creative ways to get music out because he was getting screwed by. Yeah, that. I thought he released on that piff though. I don't remember. It could be. Wrong. It might have released on that piff as well, but I think it start it released yeah, on the that app was when first. he couldn't legally release music on streaming services. I think right, yeah. right, right, yeah. Um, so yeah, so just basically, I just wanted to say that because, um, I'm not huge on the st- actual stem player thing. I think that music as an artist as a creative if i'm making a song i want you to hear it the way that i made it i don't want you taking out my vocals here and there and adding yeah, whatever what's the stem player it looks like it's going to give you exactly what it is so the stem stuff. player is something that it, it's a device that he's been promoing since the yeah, beginning of dawn. Yep, yep. yeah that's why he showed it like that 2021 he yeah it. that um is going to give you the ability to actually like take parts like it looks like you could do like high cuts like take like the bass out of the song yeah. make it acapella to where it's just the vocals mm-hmm. or take out the 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 the, uh, the chords or whatever and it looks like it's going to be an interactive way of listening to music which is, which is, cool. That is cool it's it's definitely cool but for me and I'm surprised Kanye is doing this honestly because to me Kanye strikes me as someone who's I don't want y'all hearing this anyway but the way that I intended for y'all to that nigga's been it. mumbling for the last two albums so I mean he yeah, doesn't give true. a fuck that's kind of true <laughs> he has been mumbling a lot he's just mumbling shit the so. thing so the thing I'll say about it is I'm a whole the sentiment is great Mm. like the whole idea of it i'm gonna hold my real true final opinion on it till i want to see how it plays out because i want to see if eventually if he's like damn this didn't really work out the way i planned so if, will it will down to two eventually be on streaming services that's why i want to see one or does he hold you know hold his own right he's gonna speed. hold it for a little bit i'm just saying like eventually is it gonna be on streaming services yeah, i want to well, see that though. it will and you know I why see how long honestly well. real fast the because if it's just convenience this, too. Though. Well, yeah, because Think the, about the con- here's inconvenience me, of two, what is it? Yeah. Two hundred dollars? No, 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 it's no. going to be free on the website. I heard yeah. the stem player. The stem yeah. player no, is two hundred. The stem player is two hundred dollars. Yeah. But the, the album's going to be free to stream. But you have yeah. to go on the website. Yeah. So I don't know what I don't know what how that works out, but I bet you it ends up on either Spotify or Apple or, or honestly even maybe another streaming platform because if I was Apple and I saw what was happening now, so now okay, you're not going to put on Apple or Spotify, I would literally pay a large amount of money. To For have it to on my on. platform because now that's the only place it'll be. So you're cr- you're creating a demand is what you're saying. Exactly. So someone has to yeah. lay out the bankroll for me to get it onto your shit. Mm-hmm. Because, so I'm going to get paid in advance. I know that I have 200 million people who want to listen to the song. Yeah, but pay me to allow you to have my album on your on They're going to have to pay him a lot. Yeah, I just yeah. want to see. A lot. I bet you someone will. This situation. Although it looked like he burned the bridge at Apple today if yeah. I read the post that I the screenshot. Nah, I, don't, I think he says the truth and I think that these companies still want to have these conferences conferences with him because of who he is. Mm. You know what I mean? So he might be like, yeah, I don't really mess with Apple because they, they did this, but he keeps that same energy at all times on all accord. He His problem is that there's no like business like backdoor where he talks about business with some people and then he's this person in the front he's himself at all times right so any type of interaction that he has he's always super vocal about it and his dispositions on that and apple already knew that how Mm -hmm. he felt yeah he said it to them apple's been been in his pocket for uh, for years right since since, uh life of pablo right so pablo i think was an apple exclusive at first it was so he's had conversations Mm -hmm. with these people you know what I'm saying? So it's it's not necessarily like the greatest optics. Like, hey, you're just putting out private conversations like that or how you feel about certain situations on a business standpoint. But he doesn't give a fuck because he's made his millions and or billions off of him being himself. So why would I stop? Right. Yeah. I'm yeah. just very interested to see how it all plays, plays out. out. Yeah. Because yeah. it there's I mean, we won't have to wait long, apparently. If, no, two twenty two. Well, we'll see. That shit ain't dropping on that. We'll day. see. It is. I don't think so. He's doing the he's doing doing the performance that night. Oh yeah, in Miami. so it's gonna be another night. Donda one situation. We'll I think. 
Yeah, I'm interested to see how that plays out. But besides that, Kanye's been fucking active again <laughs> on Instagram. He has 15 Instagram posts today alone. Yeah, and then he deletes them all and starts fresh. The That's what I'm saying. Day. All on his his page is only today. Yeah, 15 yeah. posts. But so besides like the cool music shit he's doing, like the other shit he's doing, I'm not really for. I'm not really with it. Like I think it's kind of lame. To speak your speak your mind about no 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 I'm talking about the Kim shit like with the Kim shit bro it's like bro yeah he's a messy guys, ass nigga like, I don't I know how they broke up I don't care about the specifics but the way he's doing shit it kind of comes off as him cyber bullying in yeah. a way and it kind of comes off a very toxic ex boyfriend yes and stalking a lame ass ex boyfriend is what's yeah. coming off as fucking the truckload of flowers like all this shit it's like all the posts the private you hate conversation me you love me. Yep. text messages posted and then her saying why you got to post. Everything we say, why can't just be between us? Then he even posts that. It's like, bro. <laughs> and all the peach, the peach shit was funny though for a couple of times, but then he did it for like a whole day straight. Hey, skeet. 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 It's just, that shit's kind of just a lame look to me. Over it. So, I think he already didn't like Pete, honestly, because I forgot well, that he Pete did. did that, yeah, I forgot he did that SNL day. skit yeah. where. But he's a he was a. But honestly, bro. but I thought what Pete said to him in that because I just watched it again yesterday. It makes a. I mean, I thought Pete gave him some solid advice. Some honest criticism. Yeah. Did you see it? I think I remember. He was like basically saying how Kanye was saying how this is the real him because he's off his meds or whatever. And he's like, bro, take him. Yeah. <laughs> I, he's, 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 he's like, like I take him. Yeah. He said, I take him. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. He's like, if you're piling. <laughs> I actually don't mind Pete Davidson. That's the thing. I, I, I don't mind him. Listen, Pete Davidson. <laughs> the Staten Island movie about his life. It's not bad. That. No, I bad. liked it. It's not bad. I liked it. But that nigga's a sniper, bro. Yeah, I that nigga has sniped some of the baddest. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. His history is crazy. His history is crazy. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I, I think there's a the lot game. of messiness involved with the Ariana Mac Miller Pete thing. That's my, Pete's a perfect rebound. He supplies great no, dick, obviously to these bitches. They that said that he Dennis sent. <laughs> yeah, basically. They said that he sent images of him with Ariana to Mac. Like, bro, I don't know. To like that. to like uh, yeah, get the make, fuck off, pop yeah, off, nigga. Yeah. And it wasn't too far before he died, so I don't know. You well, R.I.P. Mac, the legend, yeah. first off. Well, I mean, in Devil's Advocate, no one's expecting somebody to die or well, something yeah. to happen like that. It's just more like, so like, back the fuck off, this my bitch type shit. Yeah. If that was my oh, bitch, I'd be oh, like, yo, oh, hop oh, off. Oh, oh, Ralph almost went <laughs> crazy on the mic. <laughs> he was just going to walk crazy right through on the mic. Jesus. Jesus. But um, yeah, that's the only thing that I'm just like kind of over. In? Oh, no. Um, Hello? Hey, yeah, we uh, live, jokes. baby. Um, but so the last thing on Kanye I'll talk about is his Netflix documentary oh, that I um, do need to watch that that came out. <laughs> um, it's called Genius, and it's spelled in the way that it's uh, phonetically sounds. And it's uh, Kanye basically like did a whole like or this dude the, the director, uh, his name is Cootie, Cootie something I forget his last name, but he ha he has been recording Kanye West for twenty years. And has accumulated a documentary of all the stages of Kanye West. So the first episode that came out recently was him, him how he started, like when he first started making beats uh, for like Talib, Kweli, and everybody. But he still was trying to be a rapper. They show scenes with his mother and all this stuff, and then it ends on him getting signed to Rockefeller. And that's how the first. That's the first part of it, like him getting signed. Spoiler to alert. Yeah, I mean, we know the story, it's bro. It's history. Yeah, it's history. Spoiler alert. But just well, see. I don't know how the first episode ends. I didn't watch it. I'm telling you how it ends. I mean, you know the whole, where he's at now, 2022. Yeah, if I know the first episode, I'm just saying. I'm just saying for the people out there that Whatever. Can't. It's not no spoiler, nigga. We know the history. But listen, at the end of the day, this Wait, this, Kanye was signed to Rockefeller? What? <laughs> but just seeing him like. He produced for Jay-Z. Seeing him dubbed with the Rockefeller chain on stage in Shy Town. That's fine. At the end of the, like, the episode. I can't wait to watch. was crazy. Yeah, I want to watch it. Was it was monumental because you see like um, how he started and how people was not hating, but like, where my beats at, bro? my beats at that's how they were talking to him you know what i'm saying like yeah. being that person who was known for something that they didn't want to be necessarily known for and then people in his home city hating on him and then his mom's the way his mom's relationship was crazy yeah they said that she was the most important person it was one of the most too. beautiful relationships you could probably ever yeah. see imagine your mom knowing well, you can... your rap songs my mom knows a little bit of them no but, but yeah, imagine but not, her yeah. rapping them with you oh yeah that'd be crazy like you'd be like oh she's like remember this song that we did remember the song that you said oh yeah that'd, that'd be that'd wild to you yeah. And you chime in with her. That's crazy. That's what she did, bro. That's nuts. Yeah. Well, if you listen to his earlier albums, I mean, his mom's all over that shit. I know. I'm. I'm just saying that's the belief that this woman that birthed him had yeah. in him, yeah, and amazing. that allows you to believe. That's what, uh, that's what allows you to be that type of person yeah. that he is. Oh, so it's, it's, it comes with. 
a cost. You know what I'm saying? And being this person that believes in himself so much and being able to make things that happen inside of your brain come to fruition, it comes with a cost. You know what I mean? With with interpersonal relationships. Being a genius, I think the people who are geniuses, because that's the name of the fucking Netflix. Uh, yeah, geniuses. Yeah. With a J, right? It's with a J, but it's, it's phonetically. That's yeah, how it's, it's says it. Right. So a person being a genius tends to not have great skills in interpersonal and social interactions. They tend to not know how to talk to people certain times. You know, the dumber people are like lower on the IQ level. I'm not going to stop calling people dumb, but lower on the IQ level tend to be very great sociably, mm. but not very great um, at like maybe asserting themselves or making the most money. Mm. But these geniuses can change the whole world, but they have no friends. It's the cost. Yeah, this this whole segment alone on Kanye just is kind of sums up Kanye because it's been here, there, all over. That's like, him. That's yeah, him. That's, it's, 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 it's exactly it's him. It's it's kind of all over the place, but you know, I mean, legend regardless. Uh, yeah, Man, so he's a that con. That I was. I guess you could do a whole podcast on Kanye. That Kanye yeah, easily, podcast, 100%. at least a thirty minute one. Yeah. But yeah, so. that's it on Kanye. Uh, Watch Genius. Um, Donda two supposedly coming out performance two twenty two. It's like just three, it's like four days, days three days. Yeah, and if you're watching this, please like, comment, subscribe to Kickback TV on all platforms. Hit that thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> the algorithm, the algo. Where we going next? Um, talent you always want is looking at me. Yeah, you want it. I don't know what, what is what are we going with that. I mean, it's literally like written out <laughs> verbatim as into what I was. All right, so ask to. me it. So, so a talent you always wanted? If there was a talent that you like could possibly attain, you know, like you know, some people are good at singing, some people are good at sports, some people are good at like just like controlling a room. These are just small talents. But what talent would you want if you like that you don't have, or they even feel like you have? The dunk of basketball. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> You want to dunk on niggas? Dunk. Bob. Like, yeah. I mean, we were just watching yeah, the fucking celebrity game. Miles, Miles Garrett. Garrett. Miles Garrett is dunking on niggas all dunking day. Dunking on everyone. Oh, <laughs> God, it didn't matter. He's dunking on y'all ass. He's I MVP. Wish, um, I'm gonna fuck. On a more, a little bit more serious, Um, I guess I wish that I oh, could fucking that not up, second guess myself as much. That's a talent, nigga? Look, well, what's the talent Man, you associated going deep with, with this? That? You going the, too deep the talent, for me. Like, so you just want oh. total self belief. Mm. Whatever Kanye's got, yeah. No, he second guesses himself. Does he does. He? he does. He's unapologetic because him. Oh, I stick with dunking. <laughs> he tried to get deep. And, uh, I'll, I'll stick with he dunking. Said, no, I'm no, I was just dunking. I mean, I'm, dunking wasn't too far off of mine. I got two that I would say. And it was Throw a hundred mile per hour fastball. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's to sing beautifully, mm. like beautifully, like Damn. oh my god, like Jesus is in the fucking room, mm. like Jesus, like melt your eyebrows off, like Jesus, bro. <laughs> so I want to sing like Jesus, or like have NBA level skills in basketball. I want to speak two. Spanish. Yeah, is that a talent? Because it probably is, I guess. I mean, I mean to be bilingual, I think is a talent. I yeah, I so. wish, I wish I was Kobe Bryant level, like speak eight different languages. Yeah, that's the talent. Like, I feel like when it's more than like, because you can be raised by Spanish people. Yeah, but to like speak but Kobe multiple used languages because he was raised in Italy. Yeah, he yeah. Spoke Italian, Spanish, like a bunch of other languages, and so he'd be in an interview and like just answering in all different languages, just fire. Like that is that's amazing, bro. That's impressive. So Ralph wants and women love that. Shit <laughs> so Ralph wants to dunk. And you want to be able to speak multiple languages. Yeah, bilingual, <laughs> trilingual, <laughs> and dunk, quadrilateral. And, and just like absolutely just <laughs> as filthy with the windmill dunk or something. <laughs> so you could like dunk all over the world type shit. <laughs> yeah, dunk it all over the world. No matter where I go. because I And then I could talk shit to whatever language they spoke. <laughs> He's international I'm, I'm dunker. Like, international like, dunker. Who is ba Or whatever. <laughs> Baho, ba nigga. Ba <laughs> what about you? Uh, wait, wait, what did so you said? Singing. I mean, it's really singing, singing but and, like and be super athletically like, yeah. proficient. I wish I was like a human calculator, like that I could just like numbers was e like it was like a, yeah. another language to me. That's fine. I'm pretty good at numbers. But yeah, but I wish it was good. like 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 stupid. Like, I was like yeah. autistically smart, the autistic savant level. Um, yeah. without like That's whatever. Fire. But I wish that and same with you. I want to be able to fucking sing like. Jesus yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. And God Himself, like, like Whitney Houston's sing. brother. Yeah, 
What if we would have used a brother kiss? Well, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> but like that, like yeah. next door, like because Whitney like, Houston. Houston's amazing singer. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just you know not no, literally. No, I, I get it. Just I get fucking it. idiot. No, nah. but like I really, I really would like to be able to sing Sing, amazingly. Singing feels so good. Oh my god, feels so good even when I suck at it. Yeah, like I'm an auto tune crooner. Like this nigga called me the the Delawarean auto tune (laughs) crooner. (laughs) But um, yeah, I would love to be able like to really sing without using any type of anything. Like I just could just go into a room and just sing amazingly. But I would also like to be able to control the room. Like I can do it a little bit now, but like. When you go into a room and you just dom- you like you just dominate it. Like your voice and your presence is like yeah, this that's is a me. That's a talent. It's it's a it's yeah. I think that's also like an a, a legacy type of thing. Like you can't you don't just it's walk a resume into a room. type yeah, of thing. Yeah, you don't just walk into a room and just your voice and presence alone. No, nah, well, there, there are some niggas like that. There are some like regular that. motherfuckers that are like that. That can do that. That no legacy, no not known, doesn't matter. They the room is there. There's a kid in kindergarten that can come to classroom and everyone's like <gasps> Billy's here. There's oh my those God. people. Yeah, after days of realizing Billy's funny and and the and the most. Well, I'm Billy class. controls the room. Yeah, there's different the scales, temperature. different levels of it. All right, that's facts. No, I, I agree with you too, but at the same time, no. But even a five year old can control the room because he has that charisma. Even in small get together, bro. A five year old. Oh, I, I was like Fabio. <laughs> when, like, the- <laughs> when you're at a small get together, there's a person that's controlling the room a little bit. Yeah, no, of course. Peep it. Yeah. No, of course. It's a talent. Yeah, it is. Shake the room. They need to be Kanye to control the room or somebody yeah, like that. Pop spoke. Shake the room. Um. Shake. Right, what else do you want to go to here? I well, don't. Shake, I just said shake the room, so that leads me to Maul and Joe Budden. Oh, he said yeah. that's what he said in that clip that you yeah, said. Yeah, he said I'll shake the room for a shake. But his the hand. funny part is, so basically, Maul and Joe Budden were yeah, talking about. Ahead, Maul went on a podcast. Um, I don't remember the name of the podcast. Me neither. Um, but he made an appearance. It was the first time he had spoken publicly from what I'd seen about how the state of his relationship with Joe Budden. You want to give some background on um, because Maul, 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 Maul was Joe relationship and Maul was one of the co-hosts on for a long time on Joe yeah. Budden's podcast. Um, if you have if you don't know the Joe Budden podcast, it's you know arguably one of the largest podcasts in the world as far as one that's not about history or just current events and yeah. shit like that. And so, one that we love. Like, we're, yeah. we're, and, we're and, 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 you know, obviously, you know, kind of my inspiration for, potty, for, for podcasting. For sure. Um, and, you know, last year, Joe Budden had a falling out with... Both of his co-hosts. Both of his co-hosts, Rory and Maul, um, that led to what I think was a good thing for Joe, which was to get some people that he knew had his back no matter what. Correct. And I don't think he felt that way about Maul and Rory, whether he it was... You know, um, whether he was right or not wrong, it was clear that, especially after hearing Maul talk, it was clear that he didn't feel the type of bond that he feels with his current co-hosts with, um, as he did with Maul and Rory. Right. Um, and I think Maul feels a real way about that because he really, he really was friends with Joe Budden. Like, yeah, he, they, he, have, they lived they together. They have a 10-year... Yeah, they have a... Like they a, lived together. Yeah. So I understand why he feels slighted by Joe. Right. Um... I was really, it was really sad to see, but yeah, he went into into great detail about why he doesn't, you know, he'll never shake Joe Budden's hand again. Yeah. Um, Mind you, he fired them on air. Like he went on well, the podcast live and fired them. Well, in Joe's defense, I think he gave them time to come back. For sure. He gave the, he, 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 yeah, there was a grace period. Yeah. For he, sure. he let, he said he, he didn't let any, anybody know there was anything bad going on with Maul and Rory for a while. He just said they were on vacation. Yeah. And I thought he talked really kindly about them during that time. And then there was the ultimate day when it blew up where he, yeah, he definitely crossed the line and, and talked a lot of shit about them. But um, yeah, I mean, Maul definitely feels some type of way. I'd be curious to know if Rory feels similar. I think he does. Mm-hmm. If anyone does, it's it's Rory. Because Rory was with him the longest. Mm-hmm. Uh, like and Rory not, in episode but 10, Maul, 20. Yeah. But, that's, but think Rory about Maul and Joe were roommates. That, that's what I said. Right. They were he's friends. He's known him the longest. Right. But in creating something. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then to fuck me over in me being a prevalent person and creating something with you. And then you not being able to like disclose certain things. To the, to the point where, yeah, we're being the C Mike. But now we have to come together because you are asserting yourself in this, in this way. In which that the company that's paying us or giving us this payout has asserted you now you like we're different like yeah. it's, it has to be it, a different story it, it's honestly very sad to me it is because it is. i mean you sent me that you put I, me on the joe button podcast a long time ago oh really soundcloud only yeah 
I love them. And um, that was the first podcast I ever locked into. Me too. Me too. And honestly, it's what influenced me to even want to do podcasts. Yeah, yeah, same. You missed it, but that's, yeah, that's yeah. really what I just said. And yeah. that's literally like, I love that shit. Yeah. Like, I love it. Yeah. I, I fell in love with them three together. Yep. And it, I always, even when they like broke up, I always thought like maybe one day, that, but after hearing that, kind of like settled it for me that I don't think they're going to ever. And even if they never did a show again, I would want to see them just, you know. Be friends. Yeah, be friends again. Because at the end of the day, they were friends. And I think. It, it sucks. I think I don't I th- think they're ever going to be. I think the reason that so, I would feel slighted as Rory, even maybe even more so than Maul, is because I would say that Rory was bringing a lot more to the podcast than Maul was. Yeah. As far as topics. Well, he, was, he was definitely and, the, the second. Yeah. He was the B-Mic. He was the B-Mic. He was the b mic. Um, And like you said, he. I, I think Joe maybe did one or two, maybe three episodes without Rory. Yeah, he did like 10. He, did ten, he had a uh, Marty, uh, Marissa. Yeah, uh, but I thought, uh, was it 10? It was. I don't know. I don't know. It was, it was definitely a different. It was a certain amount of numbers. But yeah, I don't know, man. It's it sucks to see. It very I, much. I, sucks. I think that the reason that I don't really watch the Rory and Maul podcast that much. I do follow the Joe Budden podcast. You know, pretty religiously. Still, I'm a friend of the show as far as Patreon. <laughs> friend of the show. Um, but, I watch both. Not yeah, it's just not the. Anymore. I think Joe's still in a good place, but the Rory and Maul thing just isn't the same for me. But they're still doing like. good for themselves. They are. They I are. Think, I, 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 like, they are I like them this. when I when I feel like it. Joe is a religious thing for me. Yeah, like, right. It's a part. It's it's been like literally like three or four years for yeah. me. Yeah. That I listen to him almost twice a week. Mm-hmm. So regardless of Rory and every or Maul, day when he had everyday struggle, yeah, and then I, that was another thing. Uh, like, so that's been like that. five years. Too. We've been through this breakup shit before, right? So that's been like five <laughs> years almost that I've been listening to him religiously. Yeah. You know, so when they left and Ish and Ice came in, I was still cool with it because they yep. they added still something that was tangible for me right. yeah. in a perspective that I still fucked with. Rory and Maul shit for me, um, it's cool, but it's uh, something that I listen to when I get to it, right? I don't have that yeah. same. That, that's a good way to put it. Like I check for Joe, Rory Malls if I'm bored and it, I come across. Right, right. Right. And I listen to it. And it's only an hour because yeah. I feel like they know their fan base. Yeah. And they're still trying to bring it to a level where, hey, I'm trying to just remain consistent. And an hour is enough to get the point yeah. across. That's See? what I, I'll give them props for. Is they did, they didn't try to recreate exactly what they were doing. No, they're doing Joe, different they shit with thing. it. Yeah, they're doing but they shit drop on it. the same day that Joe drops. But I do say I would do that too, though. <laughs> I, I, you, you want to keep me out? We gonna battle for these dudes, bro. I do say, Roy, the skits that Roy should come with more skits. Roy yeah, Roy he's, he's good. He's good with the skits. Yeah, I think Roy is really good. He's a great Roy is humor. great. It's Maul that I think is. I know he's super against the cornball shit, but I think he's kind of a cornball. I love Maul. I think I, love all I think of them, Maul is just trying too hard right now, but he has to make up for some. But that shit. was the thing right. that was. That's the funny part because that's the thing that like back in the that he did wasn't. He wasn't. He didn't he was try. Just him, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But I just think this whole situation's f- stupid to me. I hate it because I I don't listen to Joe Budden podcast every day anymore or every time it drops. I, I do. Yeah, I, do. I, I, was I, and I, used to, I used to religiously listen every episode, yeah. but I get attached to the people. That's what I do. Even with the everyday struggle shit, I was that's hurt why, when they broke up. That's why it was really easy for me to transition into this stage of the Joe Budden podcast because I had been following officially Ice on Twitter for yeah. like, well, I love, like seven I love years. Ice. Like, I've been following him for a minute, so I, I was already kind of invested in who that guy was yeah. without ever even knowing what he looked like. Yeah. So now to see his actual personality on a camera, every yeah. like, no, it's really wild. A, they're doing a great job. In yeah. the beginning, I was iffy about it because obviously yeah. I mean, the transition just happened so fucking fast. Like, literally just literally just happened so quick. It did. And I was thrown off by it, but they, the, the chemistry for me is definitely caught on developed. I, 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 I'm, I'm curious to see that if they do continue to grow and they get even bigger and what if there's any type of... Like I, I would hate to see the some type of falling out to a similar degree because he because Joe does he doesn't seem to think that the podcast is a team thing as much as it is his thing and I understand why he thinks that because he's, he's a super a Mike. What's the Joe Budden podcast? Yeah, it's the Joe I Budden mean, podcast. He's been doing it for almost ten years, what, probably. Yeah, I mean, like, he is it's him. It's, it's him. him. It's him. Yeah. It is him. Of it's course him. it is. So like as long as these guys that doesn't know, mean that you know everyone doesn't add their own thing. They no, do. for sure. And I I did, I think that was really what the falling out of it all, yeah. all was was that well, Maul and Roy felt that they he's played a bigger role than Joe yeah. felt they were playing. And yeah, so he's a did, so what if what if uh, hypothetically what if we blew up you know and got into a situation like that? You think we would get some money issues? You think we would fall well, off over money? Uh, think it'd be an issue? I feel like how we do everything right now is very uh, divvy. At least with me and Tyler, we do. Primarily, yeah. most of the editing and 
all that shit. So like, I don't feel like it would be that way. Yeah, I don't think so. Because yeah. we share so much of the responsibility of it. Okay. You know what I mean? Especially at the end of the day. I mean, I'm. I like to think that any type of income that's greater than what I'm making now to do just something like this with my friends. I would like to think that'd be enough for me in life to yeah. not have to. Sure. I think it also makes it money, easier but... for us that it's not, you know, the Christopher Turner podcast. Hell yeah. no. The Tyler Suit, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, and so that makes it look, the Joe Budden, it's, it's a little different when it's right. the Joe Budden podcast. And you know we I mean? share, like, we do the intros, yeah. or, you know what I mean? Like, but that's the whole thing. I It's cake, we're chilling. Yeah. yeah. You know I'm just so saying? interested because I've never been in that situation, you know what I mean? Like, how friends could really fall off over business, you know what I mean? Because it happens very often. Yeah. I, we've never really been in that situation. No, we've never I'm had like how that a million really dollars in I'm front of us. I'm just curious how it happens because everyone, it's so easy from the outside to be like, how the fuck did that happen? You guys are friends, you know what I mean? It's so easy to say that from the background, but obviously. Yeah, like, oh, but I've been doing this. They didn't plan that to happen. And I've been it just doing happened. that. Yeah. I so, mean, that's I'm, where transparency I'm comes how in. how that shit happens, man. Yeah. I mean, it happens because of greed. It's a lot it of becomes money, a though. It's miscommunication also, and a lot of fucking yeah, money. Don't get it twisted. Even Maul said in that last interview on that blog, it's a lot of fucking money. That, but. I do respect were, this that Moss said though. I don't admit well. I missed the whole intro part because I was over there, but the last thing I'll say about it, but he he said we're not good at, we're not coming after him with no lawyers. We're not asking for that money back. But it was a lot of fucking money right. that me yeah. and Corey lost. So I do I feel him. Yeah. That's tough. <laughs> Bruh. That's tough. That's tough. I feel him. That's but tough. I also respect the fact that he's not coming after Joe like yeah, that. He's a real I, one. I, if I don't think they real... have any leg to stand on, honestly. Yeah, because he, they no, put he, him to that no, situation. He, they could. They could still legally pursue it. They could. Legally, yeah. Doesn't mean sure. they're going to win. D- doesn't, but they're not even trying, and I respect that. Yeah. I, I mean, respect that. All right. I, yeah, let's move on. Yeah, I, we can move on. It's sad, but I, at the end of the day, I've, and plus, you know, it's always nice to talk about the Joe Budden podcast. I feel like it's hard to talk about actually being a podcast and talking about another podcast. No, but, that's easy. But that's literally the biggest inspiration probably for all yeah. of us Yeah, for podcasting, so... Shout out, um, shout out all of them. Well, you want to skip right to TTT so we can. Uh, yeah, if you yeah. want to name a, yeah. if you want to do a quick, quick one, real quick, let's just go to TTT after that. Um. All right. Well, let's do question mark because I'll, I'll save the uh the deep dive I wanted to do for another pod. Yeah. Okay. Um, question mark by XXX Tentacion. Did I say that right? Tentacion. 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 All right. Um. Became the most streamed hip hop album ever on Spotify. Great over over this week. Um, it's amazing. I mean, I love it. just for reference, Scorpion was the most streamed album before that, so it's not like it was like, you know, it was written. And or Scorpion something. came yeah. out Matic after, right? But it came out after, right? Scorpion came out in two thousand and eighteen, I believe. No, that was very, it. Was close. It was real close. Yeah, they're probably around the same time. Okay. It was real close. Um, so that is interesting because I think that. Honestly, I think his death plays a large part in that. It does. For a well, fact. you see the streams go for every artist that dies. It yeah. does play. A- Not only that, but it's also like it's less music he's putting out. Although obviously his, his camp has put out a lot of his music. It's yeah. not the same. It's as not the same. What I don't really listen to it. I'll listen to Question Mark before I listen to whatever the whatever they're put putting out, out now in his I'm post. Not, uh, so I am not that definitely plays a large part in it. But it is nice to see because, and one uh, I won't take credit for. I don't know who said it, but it was something I was reading. The reason that I think Question Mark being the most streamed hip hop album ever um, is crazy. kind of inspirational. That's, crazy. that's amazing. Wild. It's because it, it's not a perfect project at all. It's very raw. None it's of his music was. That's what he yeah, was. It's very raw. It's experimental. So I think it, it shows, you know, maybe an upcoming or new hip hop act that you don't have to have this super polished, perfect, Bro. traditional album to be the most streamed. I'm not gonna ever. lie. You say what you want as X as a person, whatever. There's a lot like when I I posted an RIP show when he died and stuff, and I was getting hate from like people. That, and it's whatever, cool. I get it. You know, he wasn't perfect, perfect. He was yeah. a twenty year old kid. But regardless, Damn. that motherfucker was gonna change a lot. Of, he, was. he was one of the most talented yep. motherfucking artists that I've he did in seen. His, and I was short very time changed a lot very upset when he died. I was very upset. I cried. Him and Mac. Yeah, right, I was at work. I was working at Nordstrom. Yeah. I, was, I was at the beach. I was very sad, bro. And he could do everything. Every he could literally style. Do every style, bro. He was, and he literally said he wanted to break genres. Like he yeah, just he wanted to do whatever the fuck sure. he wanted. His music was like you said. It's not. It wasn't it's perfect. polished. No. It's beautiful though. And he was pushing the artists who were collaborating with him. Yeah. Like P and B Rock. He had him in the studio playing the piano and playing the bongos and saying wow. random shit like. Like that's the type of artistry that only like certain guys like Kanye West and and these other like you know pushing like, people yeah to pushing different... artists that they they know you have this this sound in you that maybe you haven't heard yet or maybe this type of 
rhythm or you know what I mean? Like like, like he was gonna be a, and he's a legend now. And I, but. I think I think the fact that he was like kinda like you just said, like a like a um I hated on figure for whether it was justifiable or not, I don't know, man. I know he had a lot of allegations against yeah, him and shit yeah. like that. Um that even with all of that stuff in this cancel culture we live in, it one he has the most streamed album in hip hop history. Yeah. Shout out X man, crazy, all right, yeah, P. prolific man. So I'm yeah, not I just wanted lie. to mention that. That just he's just one of those people that proves like, bro, you feel like if you listen to his music, regardless, you feel it. You feel, like you feel the pain. If it's a, a pain that you feel the pain, you feel the anger, you feel every Everything. emotion that his songs well, you feel that shit. Yeah. Transparent motherfucker. So right there. he was a re- he was whatever he felt he put out there, and you you felt that shit. Indeed. Shout out X man, R.I.P. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> Welcome to the part of the podcast where things get the a Instagram little Instagram favorite. Things get a little bit spicy. Spice. <laughs> After burp. <laughs> your love is toxic. I am your antidote. Oh shit! It's toxic time with Teasy. <gasps> <gasps> Or whatever the fuck I used to do. I don't know. It's tough. I it's lost it. I lost the... Toxic time oh, with DZ. That's still my favorite. You got to go back to that, bro. Um, I like back. to keep it fresh. Let me know what you think. I got a few. How many, how many are we going to do? We're going to do... All right. The last two will be real quick. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I don't care if we go over or whatever. No, I know. But you just... All right. So, <laughs> you know how, like... You know how, like... Like, we as men, at least in our heyday when we were, like, dating and stuff like hey that. Heyday? What's... It could be your heyday My now. Day, maybe. Hey. All right, whatever. Hey day, more like payday, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you know how like we have rosters. Or not I'm saying I'm not saying that like, Yo. <laughs> ladies, he's All right. speaking for himself. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck this man talking about. All right. He's right though. All right, go ahead. Uh, so listen. So if a woman were to have a roster. She does. Yeah, they do. They and when you find single, out single you're woman. on the roster, are you still playing a position? Or not? Wait, wait. Depends on what my position is. If the roster is known to you, yes, we assume that women have rosters. Yes, we assume oh, that... Oh, you mean if you're aware that you're not if, the if only one. If she's telling you that she, you're not the only one on the roster, are you still going to play your position? Depends where I am in my life. I know obviously you hate the word depends, but... I'm not. I'm not opposed well, to playing that? the sixth man every now and then. You know what I mean? Like, like a Louis. Yeah, like, like a like Louis. Louis. If you want to like, call me off the bench, like I can do that. Mm. I'm not okay with being a bench player. Bench players talking about st- starters. Yeah. I hate it, but yeah, I just, yeah, great song. But I mean, it depends where me and that girl are at. You know what yeah. I mean? Like if we're just, it's just a casual thing. Now I don't give a fuck. But I don't like the way you say it. Like play your position. Play your position kind of means like I'm getting put in a place. No, you are I being. Put my, I put myself. You're in being that told place. you are on a roster. Yeah, you're being told that things are happening with or without you wanting to do it or not. Now, if you want to stay on this team, then I'm seeing I'm scouting other <laughs> niggas, nigga. <laughs> that's a pretty I appreciate. Yeah, I mean, that's I don't think I've ever been in that position because oh, you never known. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was about to say I've never been put in that position because motherfuckers don't aren't that honest. That's a fact. Yeah, so I don't know. I've never been put in that position. But, but we're talking hypothetically. Yeah, no, I'm saying hypothetically. As long as she ain't tell me she's putting me in a position <laughs> and I can place myself in the where, position. Where I feel like yeah. it mentally. I'm cool with it. But it also, like I said, depends on the girl and how I feel and stuff like that. Right, right. But yeah, I mean, if we're all, you know, if we're both single and we're just, just casually chilling. chilling, yeah, I'm cool with that. But if it's a girl that I actually like, I wouldn't be cool with it. Yeah, nah, of course. Yeah. And if she was going to do it anyway, I'd be like, okay, then I just got to remove myself in the situation because I actually like your dumbass. Yeah, I like you, so. so all right, yeah. but. I mean, that doesn't mean you don't try to play your way into the starting five. You know what I mean? Shit. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I've been on the bench. I've been on the bench waiting. You know, warm up, warm up clothes, all that shit. Cam Reddish, only getting 11 minutes a night. I've been Cam Reddish, only getting 11 minutes a night. And I deserve 30. Because Tom Ta- Thibodeau ain't put but, me in. Yeah, because Taj Gibson, the guy that, that she's been with yeah, for. Yeah, the 40-year-old motherfucker has been in the league for 20 years. This is what happens when I do sports for a It's getting 30 yeah. minutes. But the young Thundercat, the young Thundercat just got on the team, getting eleven minutes. The young Thundercat. Suck, so yeah, bro. I've been there before. I've been there before. If I was, yeah, you just pissed me off. Yeah, I said <laughs> him. <laughs> him. Oh, oh. you um, no. I said the next. Yeah, I know. I, but the, but, uh, 
One, one and out the other. Anyway, listen. So if I was on a, if I found out that I was on a roster, shout out Cam Reddish, man. I would then. I mean, even if I, even if I like the girl, even if I like the girl, I'm gonna put her on my roster. All right. So I know where you at. So now I know where your position. Oh, so is. you're the GM. I don't know. Yeah, but I know I, you don't know the sports terms. So yeah, continue. but um, yeah. So if she told me, oh, so but I'm seeing a couple people. I, I would hope you are to a certain degree because I'm not there with you. So I guess you're right. So it's depending on the person. Yeah. So if the girl, like, I don't really see her in that way, and she's like, oh, I'm seeing a couple people. I hope you are. Enjoy yourself. Live your life because I don't, I don't feel that way with you. Right. You know what I'm saying? But if it's a girl that I liked and she told me that I'm on her roster and she is talking to other people, then I'm putting you back. On the bench type shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like you got to take a step back, and right? Like, exactly. I got to chill because obviously, you know. But I guess the question was, how would I feel about finding out that I was on the roster mm. in that moment? Let's say that you did like her. Right? Let's 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 play another hypothetical. So in that exact moment, that hey, I it's do an like ego her. check a little bit. It's right. kind of a punch. And she's to the like, gut. oh, I am talking to other people. It's a punch to the gut. Punch. And to you're the like, gut. what? It's a punch to the gut, bro. Would you say? I wouldn't say what. I'd be like, oh, yeah. Uh, like, yeah, me, me, me too. too. Yeah, what do you mean? Me too. Regardless how many things. Oh, it's a du- oh damn. You just dropped all the weed. I ain't going to lie. But it's oh. it's definitely a double standard in the fact oh. that. It's, I don't know if you, if this is considered a double standard or not. But like everyone, guy or girl, wants to be the one. Hope that like, one. Is the one. The one in control, though, I'm saying. Like, like they could have multiple. But they're so selfish that they don't want them to have multiple. You know, yeah, I mean, that's a human course. nature. Yeah. So like greedy. it's still a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a gut check. Yeah. But at the end of the day, if you doing it yourself, you can't really be mad at yeah, it. Yeah, but niggas is always mad. Niggas be niggas be cheating on their bitch and mad get times. Mad. And, and get they get mad. mad when they bitch just talk to a nigga. Yeah, that's but that's the most insecure people are the ones that do the most shady shit, that's bro. F- I've learned that in my I, life. I've learned that too. That's a fact. That's a clip. We're clipping that just that sentence. Clinton, make sure you get, make sure you get you spill my weed. Make sure you get yeah. my good side. I spilled all of his weed all over the floor. Damn, Sorry. I need to I need to get some. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I need to hit up the dealer, man. All right, so uh All right, so the next I'm on e, no call. All right, so next question, right? So like since we talking about sports and shit, right? So like let's say some going down like the, the three some going down, right? Who are you recruiting? <laughs> Wait, what? Two niggas, right? So you. Wait, who, whoa, whoa, whoa. So there's a girl. There's a girl, right? Like, wait, what? There's a, there's a girl, bro. right? She she went to three something. You like, who's who's your recruiting nigga? Like, who's your? There is no. Yeah, I'm not. Who's your player bro, two I'm not nigga? Into that shit That's not all, my thing. Bro. I ain't hit it with nobody. Damn. I really don't want to, unless it's like fucking like Rihanna's. Like, yo, you and one friend, you guys all gotta come through. I'll be like, all right. Like, let me let me figure out who. Who it is, but I've never been in the Eiffel Tower situation, you know what I mean? Where you're a probably pick my brother. Yeah. I'd probably be my brother. Is that weird? That's crazy. Nah, that's, that's, that's the no, weird thing. You, you ever seen I've seen my brother naked. <laughs> <laughs> that's nuts. You've never seen any of your, your brother or any of your friends Hell naked? No, no, nigga. You've never no. seen any of your friends. I've seen one nigga naked, but he was an exhibitionist ass nigga. That nigga liked to get naked all the time. No, oh. I've seen dudes, obviously pause, but yeah. not like yeah, that's all I'm mad. I didn't mean it. In, I, I mean, brother. we grew up in fucking a uh, white high school, bro. My folks was doing yeah, the fucking goat trick shot. with yeah, the niggas, fucking yeah. ball sacks and shit out. <laughs> what they call it? The goat? Go- yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's from, from the way they ball sacks it out. Yeah. But yeah, that's... So you're not doing the three? I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not with the three. Not with, unless, with, a, with a hoe? Like, a, just like a... Two girls, I would. Yeah. I'm, Maybe that's yeah. sexist, but... No, it's not sexist. It's preference. I just don't want... No. My my shit... Bro... My shit will not react well. Like my shit will be, <laughs> my shit will be limp biscuit. Okay, it's like yo, it won't be hard yo, rock Chris cafe. It'll be limp biscuit. So I need hard rock. So cafe. there's no nigga be like, yo, I know he's gonna be a bro, great come supporter on, of the team. No, <laughs> ain't no role player. He's a bro. great supporter. Trying to think of someone member. who's gonna who's gonna really 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 play his role in the no in I'm, the encounter. I'm a Kobe. I'm a Kobe. This shit. You're a Kobe. Kobe Fuck all y'all niggas. Nigga. I'm a Kobe. This shit. I'm a John Kobe. Eighty one. Y'all niggas, niggas yeah. bitches. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know if I Damn, would. Damn, niggas suck. I don't you, know. I'd be down the share. Who who I'm going with on the three? Yeah. Only nigga I'm like. It can't be Miles, so it has to be. Uh, it has to be Josh. Me and Josh, we about to go like ham. It nigga. can't be Miles. It can't be Miles. Miles is a demon. Honestly, I'd probably. <laughs> ha! 
not to want to watch that, but to be a fly in the room with just the audio. I don't want visuals. Just the audio of, of you and Josh would be enough for me. That'd be enough for me. Yeah, me. Yeah, Josh is my like the my, binky with the, the binky. binky. <laughs> Shout out Josh. My Shout out God. Josh. But I think yeah. it's a demon now. Crazy. Okay. Um, a, f- a Delaware demon. A Delawarean demon. Yeah. The second question is pretty perverted too. So we we, we rip on Delaware a lot. Good. Fuck that Fuck state. Delaware. But I went there on a Friday night to a club that had <laughs> less people than our Friday nights here. Than a Tuesday night anywhere, nigga. No, I'm saying our Friday nights here in this house. Oh yeah, that's that true. shit was in empty, this house. Bro. We in went, this house. We went to gamble. We were so pissed. Damn. All right. So this is another toxic. Qu- I thought you guys would be more particip- like participative in. We participated in the first I, I, one. Did, we were like, hell no, nigga. No, I said, I said, I, I choose my brother. Shit. And y'all laugh me out of the room. Yeah, he, he didn't did choose. <laughs> he didn't choose. Did Thank you. you. I'm not I choosing, bro. You, bro. I'm the only dick involved. Sorry. You don't want to see my penis? Hell no. <laughs> the fuck? Even if it's like a drunk night. I and don't like- care. Oh, damn. The fuck? I don't care if I was on any drug. <laughs> all right. So, like, let's say, <laughs> this is another question. Y'all not going to answer this shit. That's all I wrote. Sorry, I was just being Wait, converted. you just involving me seeing dicks? This is what the questions are? Oh, this on? one's better. All right. The next question is... <laughs> the next question is... <laughs> all right, so... You find out that you're getting cheated on, right? What's the first thing that you're doing? I'm taking out my Glock. <laughs> you know, I'm hitting the motherfucking Glock. Then I pull Glock. out my gun. <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to hit me gun. up. And I'm gonna give him two shots. <laughs> Bars. First thing I'm doing. Bars. First thing I'm doing is texting every every girl on my phone that hit me up while we were together. Damn. Yo, I've been turning this down. <laughs> and you just been out here accepting, accepting strange D. You know what sucks? So the long That's time, petty. the long time bit. I've been cheated on. I found out years later. Yeah, it sucks. That fucking sucks. I That's didn't get no revenge. Yeah, nothing. I'm looking for revenge. That's fucking three years later. So how do you revenge 16. that? How do you revenge that? You don't. You're done. Mm. And that's the thing about cheating. It. You don't always find out right away. You, you win her back. Win her back. Yeah, win her back. And then get cheat her on in her life, and then you cheat on her and be like, ah. that's too much. That's, that's too much. O. D. That's a that's a fucking sociopath to do that <laughs> shit. You have to be a sociopath <laughs> to win a bitch back and just cheat on her is crazy. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, like, yo, you're wild. That is demon yeah, time I love for the real. Effort, though, in yeah, the like you literally like you did your part. Like you definitely. <laughs> you got a light, bro. Just give what me the, the light. Fuck? So the question was, if you find out that you're cheating. I answered. Yeah, I said, yeah, you answered. I said, you? I said, oh, you did say yours. Uh, so if I find out that a girl that is cheating on me, right, the first thing that I'm doing is I'm calling up somebody. I'm calling up uh my dad. Alicia? Oh. Alicia? Who's Alicia? I don't know. The only Alicia I know, girl. I would not call her. Just a random girl. I don't call. <laughs> no, I, 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 I need to call. call I need to call up somebody that can be like, "Yo, this bitch is did this shit to me, nigga. This bitch." Is. And then later on, I'm probably gonna fuck a bitch. I've done that before. But see, that's, that's, does that even feel good at that no, point? No, it never does. Yeah. It never does. But I will fuck a bitch. I just want to curse a lot at somebody. So I'd probably call you. Yeah, I figured you would call me. And I'd be like, this motherfucker. Who would you call? Besides, like, women. Uh, Jeremy, Bree, and you, probably. Yeah, I'd call you 100%. Yeah, i call. I call Miles. And then I'll call Brandon when I like slow down a little bit. Because Brandon will be like, yeah, fuck that bitch anyway. Yeah, Brandon, Brandon's going to give you what you, what you, <laughs> know what you want to hear, but you don't need, you don't need to hear. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's like, I'll call Brandon last because Brandon will be like, yeah, fuck that bitch. <laughs> I know that bitch was a slut anyway. I told you, I nigga. I don't say slut. He, he don't say slut. Beep this out, but I say cunt. <laughs> he was like, yeah, I knew she was. I, I, I sworn I told you. See, you see why I'm the last person why people call sometimes <laughs> because you say I be the right truth. from jump. That's why, they want, they and they want. be mad about that. They be listen. I'm they looking at the camera. Right. They be mad when you be right off jump, bro. They be mad. I mean, yeah, but I, I would I would attest to you that I you are wrong yet. I would say that you say the truth, but you say like, but if you're happy. I'm happy for you, like you said in the last podcast. I always say that though. Yeah, always, and I and I appreciated that. You'll never like make it awkward or like yeah, intense. Nah, or... I ain't like that, but I, I 
I say my opinion, my truth. No, you say the truth. What I feel. It might not always be the truth, but it's so far, I mean, <laughs> pretty good. But pretty good from the field. I'm shooting whew, good percentage. But if I get cheated on, bro, I'm like, if I, like, she so none, told we've me. We've talked about this in previous pod, none of y'all been cheated on. I've been cheated on. I didn't know. I, I found out know. years later, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, did yeah, find yeah, out yeah, years yeah, later. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. at that point, I, I I had broke up with her because I had a dream that she, like, she, she, she was cheating on me. Damn, you think it was a reality? Yes, that's why I broke up with her. Nigga, I, be, your dream, though. It, it brought. Yeah, I guess it was reality. It was the truth. Raven, that hope. I did. Um, my dream wasn't that she was fucking bitches though. <laughs> she was fucking bitches. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> like a Jesus dream. Christ. It wasn't that dream though. Oh, that brings up a, oh. another. This is the last toxic yeah, last, time with yeah, T. Last, last part. question, real quick. Would y'all be mad if a, if your girl was messing with a, uh, another girl? If my girl is messing with anybody, yeah. So it don't matter. It's cheating. Yeah, but that's if you, how I, and that's if, you how I feel and if you're too. messing with a girl and I'm not invited or I don't know about these that's things, then that's yeah. that's not even worse. But it's still it's still the same premise. Like you're not communicating. I think communication is the most part, most important part of a relationship. If you're not telling me, hey, I want to go talk to this girl. I want to have a good time with her. Maybe I might be accepting, but I would say right now, me, I wouldn't be. As somebody who's dated multiple girls that Go have bisexual. had girlfriends, right, right. I've been asked the question. Would you get mad if I was mad at her? Yes, yes motherfucker, yeah. I would. I got that question. Still cheating, too. especially for that, especially for this situation where there was your. your la- I've been in multiple situations where their last, well, no, actually only one where their last was a girl, but, right? But two where they've had girlfriends, you know? What right. I mean? So to me, it's like it doesn't matter, girl, guy, fucking whatever, the fuck so, you want to be it's cheating, bro. Exactly. And that, and that, with that shit. In that situation, I would ask, how would you like? So you eating pussy? Can I eat pussy? <laughs> oh, like so if you but eat, really are you eating though are, are you, you eating, eating though mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but nah if you are like i want to eat some pussy too some like some strange pussy some new pussy like can i eat that shit too oh no you be so uh, wait hold on a bigger problem in your statement you be you eating, eating strange, strange pussy? pussy if i feel like it yeah sam if i feel like it only if i feel like it. strange though strange strange strange. strange strange means different than what i have strange to me means a random chick yeah it means Different, okay. To me, it's smoky as hell. It's super smoky. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's a vibe. Smoky. Boy. We vibing. We smoking. All right, man. Hit the quotes. Hit the words. I'm done with y'all, motherfuckers, for the day. They both. Go, they both instantly hit their phone. <laughs> I was looking at my quote, nigga. I don't that's have a quote. Yeah, you go first. I got a pee pee. Uh, that's amazing. You got a word for the day? No. Say the quote. All right, go with your quote first. Fuck the word. The word of the day. It's cheating. If you do that shit, fuck you. Cheating. If you do that shit, fuck you. All right, I'll do a word of the day since he did a quote of the day. Right. That, me, that, that wasn't that a quote. Was that was the word. Was word. Oh, wait. Oh. If cheating, that was his word. If you're cheating, he Sounded said like fuck. Sounded like a quote to me. <laughs> he said, Sounded fuck like a, you. There was a quote by Brandon. Yeah, quote me on that night. Hey. Oh, we yeah. really smoking. Yeah, we need, out- <laughs> we need outtakes on this pod. We need outtakes on this pod. I got one if you want it. This quote is from Mark Van Doren. Who? Mark Van Doren. Who? My Mark dolls. Van Doren. You ever be on the Instagram comments and no matter who they're talking about, if they don't fuck with the artist or something, they're like, who? Like, Lil Dirk sold 77K this week. They're like, who? 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 No, oh, man. You ain't, you ain't in the into culture, bro. It's who, ratio, why be better. You ain't with it. Whatever. I mean, I know the question of who. It's a pretty common. But who's like a diss now? Like, I it's mean, like it's, if someone posts someone something, kind of diss. if someone posts somebody of ours, it's just like, who? Like, it's like a diss, like, no one cares. I don't about care him. if you don't even live anywhere near me. You should know who I am. No, but anyway, continue. But do you All know right, who so that Mark is? Mark Van Doren. I don't. Serious. I do not. I'm okay. assuming some kind of uh, writer or poet or okay. celebrity. I don't know. Okay, okay. To fail to love is not to exist at all. Mm. Shout like, out to MVD, man. I think yeah. that's true. Shout I do MVD. think that love is probably one of the um, greatest <laughs> feelings in life. Emotional. It is. I think people get love twisted, though. People only, like, when you think of love, the first thing most people think of is, oh, girlfriend, wife. No, I don't. No, I'm I just saying, that's homies. a lot of people think. But there's so much love more mom. love out there. That's what I think about. My there's mom so much is my more biggest love. Out love. There. I'm love just my, saying, a lot of people, though, when you think of love, people are like, Valentine's Day, cute. Mm, this, yeah, that. that's that's like romantic love. Yeah, yeah no, I'd be loving non-romantic. But love, love to me is the love that's like, it's real and it stands tall. Forever. And it's, it's forever shit. Yeah, like, I love you, Brandon. I love you, Ralph. Like, I love y'all niggas. Yeah, man. I would, never mind. Chill. 
<laughs> you never see your brother name. Dude, we need, you we need, never we see need a lot of dude. You like, never see your brother right naked. Oh <laughs> my god! All right, my quote is um, <laughs> Monday. <laughs> um, my quote is there is only. <laughs> this pod is the most laughs I had. All right, so the quote is <sighs> the quote is there is only one way to avoid criticism: do nothing, say nothing, and be nothing. That's kind of depressing. It's a fact because I feel like criticism is a part of life. Oh, so just accept basically. It's a it's a part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't say shit, you don't do shit, you you aren't shit. Then of course nobody's gonna have nothing to say because you. What the fuck are you? Yeah. But if you exist and you have to, you something to say, regardless. you have some. You have some that you're doing. You have something that you feel like this is who I am. You're gonna have a People critic. are gonna have a. Yep. You're gonna have a critic. And that's the beautiful part of nature that we have to learn to accept as a good part. That means you're doing something that somebody has opinion on, whether it's good or bad. Uh, yeah. And as an artist, it tends to be hard because we yeah. want to hear good shit, of course. You know what I mean? But the fact that somebody says, this is trash, you listen, nigga. Well, yeah, well, I mean, have you ever heard the song Fragile by Kendrick and uh, Tech 9 No. He has a quote on there. Well, one of the lyrics. It says, I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit. So, yeah, Erica Badu said that. About the Erica Badu said that shit first. Yeah, I know. But I'm just saying that's but they quoted that. Was, that. Yeah, it, it was from Eric Badu's song. But he said it like it just it right, affected right, right. me in my soul. Got you. But yeah, so like with, with music and stuff, it is probably a little bit harder to mm-hmm. take critiques, but it's necessary. And life wise, I love to take critiques. I actually like critiques. Like I don't mind when yeah. I get checked. I don't mind that shit at all. Good. Music wise, I don't mind it either. But like when you show most people, like besides like m- people that other make music that you're friends with, they just give you the cliche answers and yeah, I hate no, that more fire. I'd rather get told this shit's trash than half the time oh it's good fire I love it ooh, ooh. you know what I mean it's just no, like yeah. cliche I hate the cliche answers I'd rather yeah. hear the real shit I don't like to hear it's fire no it's fire just doesn't mean shit to me yeah, honestly it means you probably ain't listening I would to like you to me. say something that you like about it if you are gonna critique it means me. to me you ain't listen to it yeah <laughs> yeah I mean, right. fi- fire is always nice but yeah that's what I always try to say about to someone to show that I like even if I like it, just to say, like, show you, I do actually like it, is give them a particular part. Yeah. A part where a I liked it about it, yeah. You liked, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. If I I might have said this before. If I told y'all I was fired, bro, I probably didn't even hear that shit, bro. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> at least you're honest, you piece of shit. Yeah, I'm, thinking, I'm not talking about y'all. I'm talking about, like, to, like, random motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. No if, I told, if, if I, I told just you it was fire, fire, I probably didn't even hear it. No, nah, if I told y'all it was fire, that means I, I liked it. Cause if I didn't like it, I'm, I'd be like, "Oh, I'm like that's this part is cool." But I'm trolling. I, I forgot people really take shit seriously, so I'd be trolling. It's very serious. Yeah, but I'd be trolling though a lot. I'd be trolling a lot. If you ain't trolling, I mean, come on. I think next pod. <laughs> Can I say my quote? Oh my bad. Talk about next pod. Sorry, I had an idea. Go ahead, go. No, what? Yeah, no, what I know, no, 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 he can wait. <laughs> I think. All right, hurry I'm up, niggas. Look, I'm just looking at how, how like beautiful you guys look from here, from this angle. We pretty niggas. It's my good side. I think like a camera, like if we did a camera, like maybe from here. This can await it. Put, it could have. I said it could wait. <laughs> I thought we were done with quotes. I'm just Let me All right, go ahead, bro. go ahead, go ahead, <laughs> That's go ahead. That's post pod thoughts. Right, we're, we're, they don't give a fuck about the angles. I um. They will. They they this will. from Jerry Mark West. This episode. The logo, even though Kobe should be the logo one day, or Michael, one of them. Michael should be. You don't get much done if you only work on the days when you feel like it. Mm. That's a fact. I'm, yeah. big, I'm big on that. That should hit me hard. You go, because, you go against the green? Because especially for me, ever since I started like working out and shit, mm-hmm. like what, well, probably a year, year and a half already yes. now. Yeah. The days that I try to work out the hardest is the days that I really like, bro, I don't want to do this shit at all. But I make sure to fucking do what do I need it. to do. The, the days I really don't want to do it, anything at all, I make sure to work out extra fucking hard. Mm-hmm. But I, it never used to be like that for me. I used to be like, Fuck it, I'm gonna just play video. Game. You know what I mean? Like, that's amazing. But yeah, it's it, it is that quote is that's, that's that's a good ass quote, bro. And I think that like goes back to integrity, which I always speak on the podcast. Like, what you do when nobody's looking, yeah, and how you push yourself when nobody's looking is mm-hmm. what really makes you like the hours you put in when nobody's looking. 
Like that's, that's who you really bro. are. Yeah. It's a difference. The arrows that you put in the gym, like doing them ten thousand shots. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say, kinda, was that uh I feel like sometimes it's hard to box yourself into like a, specifically in my mind I'm thinking about it and trying to be creative and make music or mm-hmm. write something or whatever. But it, it relates to it relates to many really. things. But so like it's hard to give yourself like a lot of people they get home from work at like what, like six o'clock, seven o'clock when you're done with it like running errands or making shit, dinner yeah. or whatever it is. Like yep. you're like seven, eight o'clock down. is like when you're sitting down and it's hard to tell myself, all right, from eight to twelve if you can stay up that late. And a lot of people can. I stay up later than that. But it's hard. That that's my creative window or this that's when I work on the shit I want to do. But um if you consistently put yourself in that, because like the, I don't get down on myself when I, whenever I'm not productive in that in that window. At least I was sat in front of my computer, yeah. or I tried, or some shit. You know right, what I mean? Right. Because because then the one day that it does work is going to be worth it because you were you put yourself you were in that situation um, to take advantage of it when the inspiration struck. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. um, exactly. and then I was going to say it's like the gym, like when you get the, that those reps where it's like oh, I really I don't think I can get one more you try to get one more and that's you, that's the best results you'll get what time did y'all go to sleep last night mm. <laughs> you talking about sleep so I just came to my head hey, I don't be sleeping I went to sleep at like 2 o'clock in the morning yeah, I had to wake up at like 3 I had to wake up at 6 I had to wake up at 6 though I was yeah, irresponsible tough. I was late for work an hour today yeah, that's tough that's tough yeah I went to bed like 3, yeah. three. <laughs> I fell asleep at 6 a.m. this morning bro. you're a demon <laughs> All right. Woke up 9.30, though. <laughs> we no went really, way, way longer than we went to. Yeah, but there's some longer. cuttage in there. Yeah, like a lot of cuttage. But um, thank you guys for listening to another uh, another episode of Just Kicking It. Uh, my name is C Truth, a.k.a. Chris Tyrell, a.k.a. No One's Coming. And these are my bestest friends, FB Fabs and Ralph LaFishow. Nice song. And we will see you guys next week. And at the moment, if you, are, if you made it this far, please like, <laughs> mm. comment, subscribe. And also, do the ringy dingy dingy ding ding. Hit the bing boom bong boom. Notification gang. You yeah. And we appreciate y'all. Do that. And follow us on Instagram. Kick Twitter, we'll be tweeting, but follow us individually because we be tweeting sometimes. Not yeah. Chris. Well, he goes in bunches. But anyway. I do in bunches. I do do in bunches. <laughs> That's we'll how I am with Twitter a little bit, too. Yeah, yeah me too. Honestly, me too. Yeah. I mean, like, one day I'll tweet like 40 times and I won't tweet for a month. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be on my fucking game in Twitter more than I be on my other Twitter. I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't know what that is. I have a Twitter get buck CTV. My Twitter is a stream. That's my streaming Twitter. No, I didn't yo yo today. Yo yo. Yo yo. We love you guys. We'll see you guys soon. She said, You're the man right now. When you're free, boy, take me out. You know, you're the one I about but i can't sit and wait around you to go It. Her text said she hate me, but at least she texted My love is like a cell phone with bad reception You gon' have to do a lot to get a good connection but she gon' always be down in the winter Seasonal depression Looking through the window, try to catch my own reflection Rim from the fitted, always framing up my vision You can't handle someone busy, you should find someone who is it Need a moonroof open when I drive a 95 I ain't pushing nothing special, but she still gonna hop inside I don't need the jaws, but they help me catch a vibe, yeah If we're being honest, you should know I'm probably out, yeah Way that I've been working, you can tell I'm in stride, yeah Homie's trying to link a pretty one to one slide, yeah I don't drink soda, but I love me some Corona She said, when you gon' start acting like a grown-up? Bitch. She said, you're the man right now When you're free, boy, take me out You know you're the one I think about But I can't sit and wait around your two ghosts
buckle on her head, got her looking like a pilgrim. Grown man, those were the bags.